Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a preview of the upcoming CAF World Cup qualifying fixture between Gabon and Egypt. There are no stadiums from Gabon, the feature on the virtual red patch that I use. Um, so I'm using a generic national stadium as the approximation for where this will be played. Here's a look at our Stadio Nacional. Here's a look at our captains in the front. Mo Salah, the Liverpool man for Egypt, and Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. The Arsenal man for Gabon. As the players line up, let's take a look around our uh, approximated national stadium here before we pause for the national anthem. Three before kickoff, let's take a look at our starting lineups. So we've got a big star on each side, Pierre Inver Cobayan in the nine shirt in the striker position, the Arsenal man who will also be wearing the captain's armband for Gabon. For Egypt in the ten shirt, also wearing the captain's armband, Mohamed Bo Salah, the Liverpool man in that right midfield position. Those are our players to watch. CAF ball under the boot of the man. We're underway. I am using the bomb because I probably need to qualify this even at full strength. I don't see a lot between these sides. Pretty, and they've both got a, a talented forward player, extremely talented, world class forward player. I'm kind of underselling it and saying talented. They've both got. A world-class forward player, uh, I would say fairly equivalent, you know, skill and depth throughout the rest of the squad, so I don't see a lot between them, but also need to note uh, that Liverpool have actually not released Mo Salah for the international break to go back to Egypt due to COVID restrictions, so he is actually not going to feature if you're able to watch this matchup. Uh, I've left him in here. Well, first off, I can't change the opposing squad anyway. Um, and even if I could, I'd probably leave him in there because the previews were interesting with him in there. But I do think it's worth noting Liverpool uh, earlier talked about some earlier in the week, which I guess gives away um, how early I'm recording these. <laughs> uh, at least that they're not going to release him for international duty because of the restrictions in Egypt. Essentially, he'd have to quarantine there, I think, for two weeks, um, in which case he's not going to be back in time to get back into action for Liverpool. They need him because they've got a big one coming up. All right, we've got a goal from the captain, the Arsenal man, Pierre Emmerich Aubameyang. There's his trademark front flip. Sixth minute for that goal. I mentioned at the top, I think that 
full strength. These sides are very, very even. No solid not being in the lineup. I do see Gabon on their uh, home pitch getting a result here. you don't expect to happen, happen. That's why they play the games, as they say this. See how it turns out this weekend. <laughs> I guess, again, I shouldn't have said it that way. I'm giving away how uh, my uh, schedule here. Alright, 2-0 at the break for the bottom. Over two thirds of the possession. Really dominated those possession stats across the board. So if that continues, we may very well see a third. We'll see if Egypt have a, a tactical shift up their sleeve to shift the balance as it was in the first half. Ooh, I thought I had a... <laughs> thought I had over my angle on a run there. but I'm still able to get to it for the bomb. I've been able to dispossess Egypt pretty easily in this match thus far. I'd say that's a bit surprising. I also know they kind of play these, uh, most of these previews in an exhibition mode and they just kind of randomize forms, so it could also be a situation where Mine's been made particularly good, or Egypt's particularly bad, or both. So we're past the hour mark. Got a foul here in a dangerous position. I think it's going to be too far for a direct strike, but we could have a. We definitely have a set piece opportunity here for Egypt. Mo Salah over the ball. around those defenders and ah, I 
thought we were going to have a one-on-one -on -one there, but the defense is able to just hold him up. So we remain at 2-0 as we enter the last quarter hour of play. Box, but he's dispossessed. Oh, if I got to that one, that defender near the byline would have kept the on onside and I would have had an easy one, but it didn't turn out that way. It looks to be easy. Already up 2 0, so I have nothing to worry about, certainly. We end the last few minutes here. Again, in, in Mo Salah's absence, well, we didn't have it that way for the preview because, again, it's more fun with it, but. He will not be at this fixture, so I do expect the bomb to get the result. Here. Two mil to the ball. We'll see if that's how it shakes out as this match is played. We're looking at our second goal scorer. He very well be our man of the match. We'll see. Let's take a look at our highlights first. Man. English Premier League fans will certainly recognize him from his years at Arsenal and as recently as a couple years ago he was really banging in the goals. He's had some, some injury issues uh, late. But Here's a look at the goal from Aubameyang. Penza gets the assist. I believe he assisted the other goal as well. We'll see. And if so, he may very well be our man of the match. Oh, he scored the second goal. Even better. So, yeah, he's going to be the man of the match, I think. Assist on a goal and a 2 0 win. That's going to be hard to top. So, yeah, that's a, that's a great one there. Well, as we finish up our highlights here, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give the video a like. If there's a fixture you'd like to see me play, please leave it in the comments. If you enjoy this type of content, I do a match of the week preview for the big five European leagues ahead of each match day. I also do previews of other notable fixtures around the world, including this extensive release of World Cup qualifying fixtures ahead of the international break. I also do a series of international replays where I replay old cup finals from various tournaments around the globe. Either of those streams of content are of interest to you, then please do subscribe for more. Again, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. See you next time.